Good morning. This is Ramon Leonato speaking from the ashram for unfoldment. And we come as every day with a message for the day that today the title is like a pound of salt in the ocean, free to melt into love or into wholeness. What difference does it make? What we call it? It is. Life is divine. And when we speak of free will and divine will, we keep creating distinctions over and over again. There is only one will. And that will combines what you consider free will and what you consider divine will. Because really, what is your free will? Do you think you are free? Really free? You are not. Understanding the subtlety of the difference between free will and divine will is difficult. But you can picture it in the following way. Free will that has to do with the, the individualized mind would have to do with your actions, uh, the actions you perform, like I'm going to take the lift or I'm going to go down the stairways at a given moment. From moment to moment, you are making choices. Now, these choices are very much determined by your previous patternings. And your previous patternings by your evolutionary lineage. They come from your parents, that got them from the parents of your parents, and the parents of the parents of your parents, Anyhow, that's the little string that if you pull, you arrive to the Big Bang. But for you to be here, the same force, the same creative force that have pushed the evolution of the form of life you are, which is a result of a process of evolution, in the same way that that force has pushed this particular form to where I am today, it has, it has pushed that tree, because I can go, that tree comes from a seed, that comes from a flower, that a bee came of another tree, and somehow that seed came here, but that seed from where it comes, comes from another seed, from another tree, and you keep pulling, keep pulling that tree, and you go all the way down to the Big Bang also, like when you pull the string from yourself. And you, you can apply that to everything. So for you to be here, everything had to work in unison. You cannot be here without the tree being here. So that unified will is divine will. And your particular individual will, which includes divine will, is your particular individual will. Surrendering free will to divine will is like throwing a pound of salt into the ocean, where it dissolves and cannot be recovered. You allow the sea to work, not the salt. Now, this is a proposed spiritual practice, particularly for today throw this pound of salt of your individual will into the ocean and it will not be there anymore again because it will dissolve. Because of their nature, small wills unite to become one with the greater will of the divine. This is what I was speaking before. It is inherent in everyone's will because we are subject to the law of evolution. What evolution does is to take you from stillness to stillness. You come from home and you have to go home. But the night may be dark 
and it, and it may take a lantern to light your way. Do you see how one's will can harmonize with the divine will? Not by mere desire, but by aiming toward that goal, that stillness to that home to where you want to come back. This is how our small wills unite with divine will. You have to walk the dark road. And if you sincerely feel thy will be done, the fear disappears. So in this road that we are walking with our individualized will, sometimes fear appears. And one way of you know, dissolving that fear of our individual will, is saying, thy will be done. Come what may, that when it comes, and if it comes, I will um, respond to it as a lion, not, not as a mouse. But when it comes, and if it comes, come what may, thy will be done. So, for today, practice that. Anytime you feel fear of the future, of something that you fear that may happen in the future, for today, every time you get that feeling, sincerely, try to feel, sincerely, thy will be done, which is the same as saying, come what may, that when it comes, and if it comes, I will accept it as the will, as that divine will that is pushing all evolution. And I will confront it, I will respond to that event like a lion, not like a mouse. But when it comes, and if it comes, so thy will be done. So for today, it's only today, tomorrow you can be afraid again, do this practice, and I'll see you tomorrow with a message for the day. Mm -hmm.